I'm Meg. Hi, I'm Mary, I'm Emma's mum and one of the trustees. I wouldn't change a thing. Before I'm Emma was born, I think I thought I knew quite a lot about Down syndrome. I'd had some contact with individuals with Down syndrome yeah. uh, when I was a teenager and, and growing up. Um, um, I now know that I, I know. Really didn't know much at all. Certainly didn't I mean, know, I know how wonderful it would be to have someone with Down syndrome in our lives. I know that. How life changing it would be. I know that. And also how fulfilling a life someone with Down syndrome can live. Mm. I uh, got involved with Wouldn't Change a Thing, um, following mm. on from the 50 Mums, um, 50 Kids video. Mm. Um, em and I were both um, fortunate enough to be in that mm. video and um, got to know a lot of people through that mm. and became involved mm. with Wouldn't Change a Thing, which was set up um, as a result. It's important for me um, and for us as a family to raise awareness about Down syndrome. There are still a lot of negative perceptions of Down syndrome um, out there and I think unless we as individuals and as a community put ourselves out there and show people what our lives are really like, um, it's difficult to, um, to challenge them otherwise. I think mm -hmm. giving people the opportunity no, to have a bit of insight into um, our lives really helps to change um, perceptions. The highlight of being mm. part of Wouldn't Change a Thing um, mm. for myself and for us as a family is the people that we've got to meet through that. Um, we've, we've made some friends who I'm sure will be friends for life. Um, we've had the privilege of meeting um, other individuals with Down syndrome, both children and adults. Um, and that has been just a wonderful experience for us. It's a it's a very strong and supportive community. Emma uh, has um, a wonderful relationship with her daddy. little brother Matthew and with Daddy. Yeah. Um, daddy. Emma and Matthew are quite close in age, so they are they're really good friends as well as siblings. They probably have a typical daddy. sibling relationship. Most of the time they get on very well, but they do have their moments. Emma certainly sees herself as the boss of the family, um, which is probably fairly accurate. Um, she is, yeah, she's the boss and the star of uh, the little mini drama that is our lives. Um, <laughs> and as you can see, she loves a camera. I think we are changing perceptions about Down syndrome. I've certainly noticed a shift in the last few years um, about how people perceive Down syndrome. Um, I think wouldn't change a thing are a part of that. And there are a lot of other groups out there as well doing some fabulous work. Um, I think there's a lot that still needs to be done, but I think we are definitely on the right road. <laughs> I see a bright future for people with Down syndrome. I think perceptions are changing. I think there's more representation in the media, in, in film and television, in the workplace. I think um, that needs to continue to improve, but I'm very, very hopeful for the future um, of Emma and others in her generation. I wouldn't change a thing about Emma. Maybe the five thirty wake up call, but yeah. no, I wouldn't change a hair on her head. Would we? No. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.